Now, it's been missing, presumed lost, for over a decade. But now, the UK-led Beagle 2 Mars lander has been found precisely where it should be. Scientists studying telescopic images have found what they believe to be a partially deployed probe on the surface of the red planet where it landed on Christmas Day 2003. It brings a poignant end to an 11-year mystery, as our science editor Tom Clark reports. This was the moment more than a decade ago when Colin Pillinger, the mutton-chopped mission chief of Britain's bid to land on Mars, got the call. His space probe, Beagle 2, hadn't phoned home. Unfortunately, we don't have any Beagle data in the uh, telemetry for this pass. It was Christmas Day 2003 and Beagle was supposed to enter the Martian atmosphere, deploy its parachutes, bounce to a stop in its airbags, before unfolding itself on the Martian surface. From there, it would sample and analyse the red planet for signs of life. A lengthy European Space Agency investigation concluded Beagle 2 either skipped off the atmosphere into deep space or crashed hard. But the Beagle team and independent experts are now convinced these new images show Beagle 2 and it looks as if it didn't crash. Only Professor Pillinger, who died suddenly last year, never got to see his lander on Mars. If Colin had known what happened to Beagle 2, he would have been writing a proposal for Beagle 3. It's as simple as that. We got so close. Colin was a great fan of football. He said he would have said, we hit the crossbar, now we need to get the goal. And he would have been lobbying people, trying to go back, do a Beagle 3 perhaps learning the lessons in terms of what we learnt from Beagle 2. And we certainly probably wouldn't design a small lander exactly the way we did Beagle 2. But it looks like it was so close, Professor Ian Wright helped to build it. And this is what it would look like in its fully uh, deployed condition. Um, the problem is that it seems like that one of these panels, perhaps one or, one or two, hasn't properly opened. And the unfortunate thing about that is that Underneath there is the antenna. It just can't communicate back with the spacecraft, so... Ugh. While Colin Pillinger wasn't there to share in the frustration, his family was. I think he would have been totally gutted that it's that close. You know, he would have said, you know, this is typical. It's the England team losing to penalties. You know, it's so close, but why could they not do it? And we've just got to go back and do it again. And it's got to inspire other people to go back and have a go. But Inspire it did. Members of the Beagle 2 team went on to help successfully land the probe called Philae on an impossibly small comet last year. The spirit of Beagle 2 and its champion lives on.